that again. Mm. Damn it. Okay, cue all the explosions. <laughs> mm. <Yep>. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, everyone, once again. Well, okay, for the first time for for uh, for you, but the second <laughs> time for everybody else here. Uh, <laughs> the faded world, the burning wind. <laughs> Replay. Yes. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Perfect. Yes, yes, quite we perfect. Got it, guys. Uh, that was exactly how it was meant to start. Twice. <laughs> well, we got to yeah, practice, we right? Go. So we're, yeah, we're yeah. much smoother now. It means yeah. twice to start double the awesomeness? Yes. Mm, mm, mm. And. 5% uh, power, 10% skill. Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> And, and because of the false start, I, I know that you guys are, are doing pretty well, which is which uh, <laughs> pleases me. <laughs> <laughs> because we, ha we haven't talked in a little while. How yeah. is everyone? Checking in. Um, and uh, the other thing I mentioned uh, during the, the false start was, was that uh, mm -hmm. we're jumping forward a year. Um, yes. So, yeah, uh, very much looking forward to... to uh, Finding out what happens with everybody, um, mm -hmm. and uh, me too, and uh, looking into all the the changes that may have occurred o over the year and uh, new beliefs and all that stuff. Yeah, I, I hope you guys are making my life sufficiently difficult with wild and crazy ideas. Mm -hmm. No, no pressure, no pressure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, Fair bits of crazy. Yeah, I added a few extra spare characters in case people want to make spare characters. Um, or, you mm -hmm. know, play NPCs mm -hmm. again. So, yeah. Um, but before we jump a uh, year ahead, there was one scene I wanted to do once we got back to university. Okay. Oh, and there's other, uh, one of the things that uh, uh, we need to, to cover uh, before we do that as well, I think. Which is... Uh, uh, I want to wish you a, a happy birthday, Hatha. Thank you. Happy birthday! Hatha Thank you, guys. Star. Happy birthday. Well, no better way to spend my birthday, right? Mm. That's what I said last week, <laughs> so I believe in it. Mm -hmm. uh, let, let me check when I when I, my birthday is. <laughs> is, it, is it on a Wednesday? In fact, it is. Wow! <laughs> Combo checking. checking. Yeah, I'm on a Thursday guys... this year. I'm afraid. Uh, yeah. well, oh, I, I guess we'll yeah, have to move our role playing game a day then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, sorry, Obviously. you're out of the group. You're out of the group. <laughs> <laughs> Not long. Wednesday mentioned. birthday only. Yeah, yeah, go. <laughs> oh well, yeah. I guess I have I have to go too because uh, <laughs> mine's on a Monday. That's Damn. terrible. So, and it, it's still like well, tragic. And, and, in German, it still both starts with M, so I guess it's fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the lo the logic is sound. That's <laughs> flawless, flawless <laughs> logic. Yeah. Yes. Um, and I mean, Donnerstag and Mittwoch both have, have an O in it, so I guess mm. Thursday and Wednesday, then mm. in, in that sense, you know, mm. they both end in day. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the, a good one. The, one of those days. Um, so, yeah, 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 uh, so let, let's, let's go back to the university, guys. Oh, did somebody know? Mm -hmm. Was it when I put my phone down? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Mm -hmm. David thought somebody knocked on my door, but mm -hmm. it was a, a myth. <laughs> Um, I thought you that, heard that, something <laughs> on the, for, on my end when I set my phone down that sounded kind of like knocking, but if I, I didn't hear heard it then, it wasn't me. Never mind. That sounded like a mm. knock. <laughs> so specifically, <laughs> mothers, mothers, when do you come back to the university? Like, do you go straight back, back from HR to the university? Uh, no, no, I, I, I think from, uh, like, I stick around in HR for a while, uh, then, uh, go on to, uh, Ventus, not, I, I mean, I was thinking Tinue, but not necessarily, like, it, it could be something closer to the, uh, 
uh, closer to the coast. Um, mm. Mostly, like, uh, hobnobbing with nobles and uh, mm. uh, spending my nights not sleeping, but... but uh, uh, Dancing. Well, sort of... Uh, mm. Wrecking sort myself of. with hours and hours of concentration. Um, uh, like, when, when uh, I mean, uh, uh, when my Mathers does get back, uh, there there is, like, a very noticeable difference about him, which is that uh, he's gone from, like, average build to just gaunt and looking kind of wasted and, and you know, no, no longer the, the everyman that he... he, he, he uh, Cultivated appearing like. Mm. Um, so it's some some exhausting days for him. Mm. Okay. Um, so. Um, so uh, do you like how how much of the year do you spend before you get uh, back to the university? Um. I I'm thinking like. Like if not the 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 whole time that then then it can like be the whole time. Can... Okay. Uh, just then, curious. Like, yeah, like a a pretty good chunk of it. Most most okay. of the time. If, if... Um. So when you get back to the university, yeah, you, know, you walk you walk into the the familiar university town. Oh oh um. Mm -hmm. Before we do that. Um, you had mentioned wanting to do uh, vignettes uh, from the year, and we should maybe Yeah, but I wanted over... to do oh, one okay, scene. Okay. Um, sure. I, I thought first, I guess we can skip it towards the end, um, but uh, I was thinking doing it first because I imagined that you went to back to university first. Um, um, but if you want to postpone it, that's fine too. Uh, either way, it's fine. Okay, let's uh, let's do the scene then, okay. and then I'll let you guys chew on that while you give me uh, some some things that changed and happened in the year. Mm -hmm. um, so you you come back into that familiar university town, and um, you feel something moving in one of your pockets. I'll, like, Something is, is wobbling a little bit. And it feels warm. Uh, so I'll, I'll I'll reach in. Is it uh, like the? Uh, I guess we've been we've been carrying like little sticks that had been uh, that we had broken in half to ha uh, uh, to be able to signal each other. If I recall. Yeah, no, it's not your it's dousing not... stick. Oh, okay. Um, what you feel when you reach into your pocket, you feel it's, it's, it's warm. It's, it's not like you, you didn't burn yourself, but it's, it's almost to that level. It is the ring with the red stone. And it's pulling you in a certain direction. Hmm. Uh, so I'll... I, I guess I'll go to like you know the center square of, of the university, and, and uh, try and figure out from from there which direction to it's uh, pulling. Yeah, so you can you can vaguely vaguely feel like when when you're wearing it, it's just pulling your hand a bit in a in a direction. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm not actually wearing it. I'm, I'll, okay, well, I'll, even if you don't wear it, it will still reach pull. in covertly and, and, and feel which way it's pulling. Because uh, I, I, I think wearing it openly uh, could uh, uh, potentially be problematic. So, will you follow it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you follow it and you end up at the Medica. Um. Mm. And you look through the window that of, of the room that it brought you to, and inside you see Rav lying there with his eyes closed. It's, it's as, as if the ring wants to go towards him. Hmm. Uh, that's... 
interesting. I... I think I, I I just like make a mental note to to uh, to look into this later. I I, I think I, I want to uh, uh, check in with people first rather than like quietly slipping the, his the ring on him and and just like finding out what happens. You 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 feel a little bit of disappointment from the ring. <laughs> Okay, well that was that was the scene that I wanted to do. You can tell me, um, you know, if if anything, uh, like if you if you do anything with it later. But okay. uh, let let's see what you guys did in a year of not seeing you guys on screen. I forgot about that. Oh no, but I have an idea already. So, hmm. so does anybody have a clear idea right now? Let's see. For the most well, part, oh go no, go ahead. Uh, I was just going to like wrap up Lynn's part of the story. Yeah, you know, let's see that first. Yeah. Yeah. So what 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 she does for, throughout the year, I think mm -hmm. she she spends like a fair bit of time in in nature, like following like the trial and and all of that, and like you, you makes a point of. Like having continued continued conversation with Katarina's father through mail and whatnot, and but she, she also remain like remains and like even manages to like, get like a good relationship with or Silva's burn. Like they they become on like like good terms with, with each other, which like baffles her. <laughs> as it's happening, like like hey, this guy's actually like pretty decent. And once that whole situation is worked out, they they still keep in touch, even after the two of them had head to to Tinway. Remain friends to this day, even a year later. Cool. Does their friendship have any effects on you know the happenings in A tour? Mm -hmm. I, mean, I think maybe I think Lynn becomes a little, 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 little more passionate about like, getting the case right for everyone. Like, not not just like, for the people, but also that so that like Silver Spoon doesn't get into trouble for this. Like that, like there's no like, additional repercussions towards him. The, I think uh, after a while, Lynn, Katarina, and Jesse make their way to to Tim Wright and just try to get a normal life, whatever the hell that means. <laughs> Not normal as far as you know they are normal. <laughs> yeah, they're all a bunch of normal people. Yeah, I think I think that's it. For then we'll see what happens with her if and when we come back. And you sounded you had you had like something in mind, Kelsa? For for Jesse? For Desi. Mm -hmm. Um so Desi returns after after their stay in Ater. Um probably directly to the university. Um, I don't know if anyone comes with her. <laughs> um, I mean, maybe Davy? Um, but yeah, did, even that, did Davy and sure Mother spend that time together or did Davy go back to the university? Um, I had been think thinking that they stayed together, but uh, if I mean, if there was something specific you wanted to uh, uh, do nothing with her back specific. in the city, then, then um, fine. not not anything specific. But Desi would not have wanted to uh, 
continue with the rest of the group. They're all kind of splitting up, going their own different ways, and none of them are the way that she wants to go. Um, Where's Jojo going? So, yeah, Jojo, are you coming back to the university with me? Well, I it, I kind of had to when my uh, grandma is, is meeting me and true, telling true. me that, that I, I finally should do something with my life and not stop fooling around and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. she... she uh, more or less takes me with all that that I have worked for in the past years uh, to the university and mm. well yeah so I'm I'm there I, I, I came with you well then then yeah Desi traveled with Jojo at least so she wasn't alone um, and then w- was know, he a perfect gentleman of course of course, of course. <laughs> of course. And, and especially because there was her grandma and you know. Mm. I, I kind of, you know how this is. Yeah. So, like, so how did, do you think uh, Desi gets along with your grandma? Probably she, uh, perfectly. Like she, how she's she probably feel like about me reading the stars, like for everything. Well, she probably thinks it's cute. <laughs> what What is she like? What What is the the grandma like? She's probably a cool grandma, but I have just putting way too much shit uh, at this point so she was like okay that's not not no that's that's not okay you can do your fun stuff and it's all fine but stop doing this for now but because you're, you're going down a path that i ca- cannot uh cannot help you with and stuff I, like I, that. I just imagine her this really like this f- very nice old lady but when mm-hmm. you go against her she just becomes super scary yeah, it's, yeah, mm. like that. A, a bit like, like the an, an older version of the uh, hmm. captain of Squad Four. I I don't know that. Hmm. You've so. seen Bleach, right? Uh yeah, yeah, right. Hmm. Yeah, I saw yeah. Bleach I, I, so I, I, well, many years ago. Yeah. I haven't thought, thought about Bleach like I, five years. I I couldn't uh, make the the connection hmm. I had right. Hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. because I didn't give you all the information. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm definitely picturing she's, she's, Baba from Spirit of the Way. Nice. Yeah, I, I mm. uh, like, uh, she's in the ni- really nice and uh, is helping you out, but, you know, t- she's also too nice that Joris is like, I-, I can't really do anything against it. I won't say anything. And, like, I-, I don't like it, but, yeah, I will go along with it. And if, if, she, uh, <laughs> if he's like, telling her mm-hmm. some stupid stuff that she's like this old lady that is like duck but very lightly like <laughs> n- not really hurting but you don't know that that's that's when you uh, should consider stopping whatever you were doing it's not that she does scary stuff it's just that you're scared of her <laughs> yeah more, more like not not scared but also yeah, kind of scared of her hurting her. Like, like she's the only family that he he has, and is like, mm-hmm. I, she she really li- likes her, and uh, he really likes her. But you know, that's that's kind of hindering to do what she wants sometimes. So mm-hmm. that is one scary uh, picture, Colin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, Grandma yeah. Baba! Uh, oh God, <laughs> no. Mm-hmm. Ah, help! <laughs> so, um, I believe you were still talking about Desi and what happened with with her in this year. So, um, I think that she she gets home or home back to the university and her little cottage and she she make you know she she makes the time to to make up with all of her professors and um kind of establishes herself back into the world of the university and she spends i i think she spends some time um with joseph and with john getting to know them better as friends (laughs) um and probably also her own harem 
Yeah, I'll also probably uh, Justin Little, her her friend from the Medico as well, since she's starting to put in more time at the Medica, and that's what my final um, instinct is. Let's spend my free time at the Medica learning healing. Hmm. Um, and I, I, I think she's kind of like... She, was just, she surrounds herself with these people um, because they are all talented in different ways and, you know, like form study groups and also commiserate about everyone coming to her for love advice. <laughs> um, I, I, I feel like there's definitely like some um, montage of like like her and John out talking about how people just dump relationship problems on both of them um, from totally different angles and reasons and like them sharing coffee and complaining about how uh, nobody listens to each other <laughs> um, and that sort of thing and um which is funny since one of of desi's like instincts is to never speak plainly <laughs> i think she's like these whole conversations happen in like innuendo and like references <laughs> but they both Metaphors. totally get it Metaphors. It's mm. all metaphors. Yeah. Do we do we, do we get subtitles on the screen? <laughs> <laughs> like plain text. Yes. Yes. Mm. And they're they're like, and Disney's like, and sometimes flowers are really cold. Mm. And uh, like the, the the subtitle like pops up with like. Uh, gifts not given with love are not really gifts. <laughs> I, I don't know, something like that. <laughs> um, <laughs> as they, they kind guessing. of have... Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, so tell me, uh, I have two questions for you. Um... Is Elodin still Chancellor after this year? Oof. Oof. Hmm. Um, is he still alive? And he the other question is, is Master Bundia still Master of the Library? Hmm. You can think about that. Yeah. Hmm. Come back to me later as I go th through with everybody else. I, I'm a, yeah, if, if, I, I, if I can like the idea that Elodin is not currently a master, that he's gone on mm. his vacation. On his uh, on his uh, complimentary trip to the rookery. Yeah, I, exactly. And but I, maybe that happened recently, like. Mm in the past couple of months actually mm. I, I would like that he is that he's just out of the rookery again but not maybe not a master immediately just running around and annoying people like mm. make, make everybody confused uh, how, how, how about how about we do that during play that he breaks out at some point and everybody goes into yes. a panic because Master Ludin has escaped. <laughs> oh, no. oh no, he's out to the cage again. Uh, um, I like that. I like that actually. So um, um, Master Brunia being in charge of the library, though, um, because at least with the original storyline, he's you know he's not master of the uh, library mm -hmm. when Quith comes, right? But that's in five years or so. Um, four, four, four years, years. yeah yeah four years by now definitely maybe even like, three uh i years like or... that that he's not that maybe um he's been stripped of that title and maybe it's not entirely clear why he stepped down oh sure we can we can figure that out so um let's say that there is no new chancellor yet mm. so everything's a little chaotic at the university ha huh. 
my position is free. I can take it. <laughs> I'm sure that is going to work out great. Um, ooh, I have a wild idea. Um, boop. Let me write down my wild idea before I get it. Before Good I lose call. it, rather. Before everything is ruined forever. Reasonable, right. reasonable. It's not in house handouts. It's not in Do players. It. All right, I've spent all my um, training, by the way. Okay. Yeah. I worked it for, out everything for Quentin. Ugh. Hmm. Oh, this is so juicy. Um, <laughs> okay. So, there's no new Chancellor yet. Hmm. And... Um, is Master Elu, is Master Lauren uh, the master of the library yet? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think it's. I I, I think that he's taken over, but maybe he's mm. very very busy trying to mm. fix fix everything, uh, the whole mess, mess yeah. get all these university wrong. books that that ended yeah. up in the wrong places back and mm. fixing right? the whole system that mm. Master Bundia didn't give a fuck about anyway. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So, but I haven't. Maybe, maybe like, rather than stepping out, maybe he has disappeared. Ooh. Yeah, and Lauren yeah. Laura just like just stepped in to like cover for him. I like it, and like maybe he's yeah, not no, officially I, in I, charge. I feel like he got yeah. brought in from the outside. Mm. Like maybe he had been yeah. at the university, but he left to do something mm. else. Yeah, it's, it's like and they brought he, him in. Yeah, it's like yeah, when, yeah. Master Bundia vanished. Mm. Interesting mm. mystery to figure out. Mm. Dun, dun, dun. What? Um, what did the Illuminati do? <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> Being kidnapped at this university? Never. And uh, okay, okay, yeah, I like this. I like this. Okay. Uh, so, was there anything else you wanted to do? Hmm. Let's see. Okay. Not, not me. I, I think that's the, the gist of it. She's been. Uh, I, I spent a lot of my uh, training time in the last year working in the medica. Um, I uh, mastered uh, anatomy, and I almost am uh, trained as a midwife. Nice. Um, and my chemistry is it's getting up there as well. Uh, I also spent a lot of my time training um, astrology in order to get a difficult test for astrology. So um, I did that, which bumped my astrology up to six, which means it's probably never going anywhere again. <laughs> uh, but I'm really good at astrology. Cool. Okay. Um, and... Um... Maybe you can think, uh, I didn't need the, the answer immediately, but maybe you can think about, um, you know, presuming that you're not Quoth and you don't just go to the masters and be like, make me Rilar. Um How do you become uh, Elir and Rilar? Because uh, at least, like, maybe some of you became Elir during this year. That's something I can imagine, but you guys I, weren't I beforehand. Think, I think she definitely became Elir after returning. Um, okay, so you can add uh, Alair as a um, affiliation. What is it called? Affiliation. Yes. Isn't uh, the, if you get, you need to uh, be able to use sympathy if you want to be Alair, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I I came to the university and knew how to use sympathy, but also it I. Uh, yeah, I think she finally like took all of the tests that that um both kind of just like she went through the correct Blast process the she she went yeah. to all the classes even though she knew what she was doing instead of testing out of them in the first two weeks she actually do, did her due diligence and um you know learned some new skills um and some some basic things that a self-taught um you know person would yeah. not necessarily know mm -hmm. and I, I think that if she was to see what both did she would kind of like have pity on him like uh you 
you poor uh your poor soul that has no patience yeah. um you're missing out on so much you could have learned um <laughs> and so i i think she definitely became a leader and now that she's been a leader for a while and she knows like every day since she since she mastered naming in the last year like the stars sing to her at night and she you know whenever she does her uh astro astro astrology like it it calls to her like she wants to call back and prove herself a earlier but she also is very non-confrontational and so she's not gonna like go and demand if someone a test yeah um but it, it's like burning in the back of her mind like i i need to get this out yeah yeah and i, I miss it i imagine it doesn't help that uh Alodin isn't really around to, to like recognize yeah, it. And, yeah, yeah. And I, she'd oh. been waiting. I, I think probably like the timeline of this is she gets back, she finished out that semester of classes um, and then petitions to become a leer and is accepted because she is a, ma uh, she is a master of sympathy. Uh, mm -hmm. Then she's like, well, I ought to wait at least a semester before I petition for Relier. And then in that time, Elodin goes crazy and gets shipped off to the rookery. And then she's yeah. like, I have no idea who would understand what I'm doing because mm. calling the stars is such a, such a weird thing. It doesn't have like a it's no theory behind it. So you're, yeah, you're yeah. trying it, it, to get Master Elodin to sponsor you for Relar? Yeah, I think she was, and then he went crazy. And now she's like, I don't know who to sp will sponsor me. Yeah. And then so she's kind of like thrown herself into the Medica and thinking that, that maybe um, the Master of the Medica, whose name I already forgotten, you wrote it down, uh, well, Arwell, Arwell. Arwell. Um, would would sponsor her. Mm -hmm. um but she's not super great at medical stuff she's trying like really hard mm -hmm. but it's is she precise enough for his taste um i think so she is a very uh, she she's a precise person i, I guess um, you need to be precise when you're laying out star charts as well mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and maybe that's part of maybe she's too precise which hmm. is why it's, it's slow going for her here because she wants to be she's trying too hard she wants to be super perfect but I, th I think it's also like i remember that master Arwell was very strict about the amount of like time like you had this many years mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. terms of earlier that's many terms of relar so probably with his system you'd be nowhere near getting relar yet so that's a problem mm -hmm. that you have to deal with still yeah right like because because, years down the line as as because almost no yeah. one knows naming and it's very rare that anyone ever masters it and so she's not the kind of person to be like i i, I did it i learned naming i i actually i can mm -hmm. I I am um, I I can I could call the stars. I know the names of them. They speak to me, and yeah, and that's just not going to get her anywhere. <laughs> so how about um, you can you can call the name of the stars for like cool visions and stuff. Yeah, I mean, like more than you're getting right now already, right? How, right, how, I think that's cool. How, how about cool. also? But it's it's it, but and that's perfect because I feel like like calling the name of the wind there is the wind is there and you can see it and you can feel it maybe you can't see it but you can definitely feel it calling the name of stone like uh fella did um in the books that made an an obvious physical change physical manifestation yeah but when she calls the name of the stars it's not a physical manifestation yeah and so it's much more difficult for anyone who's not a namer to grok. Yep, so. I, and I, an idea that I had was maybe that you also could use it for seeing better in, in, in the, the dark or like focus in the light mm -hmm. of, of the stars at one certain point. Like 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 the Death Star, but 
No, no, actually, no. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's, yeah, I mean, you could use it for like a very yeah. hot heat source, like mm. hotter than fire kind of thing. Um, that, that's one direction you could go. You could use it for like diffuse light, mm. as in, you know, the, the kind of the stuff of the stars that we know down here. Um, or you could use it to see things in the future and the current mm. and the past and the truth of mm. things because the stars see all. Yeah. And, what, and maybe yeah. even now I'm... like altering people's fate, although, you know, mm. what Ooh. is fate and, and yeah, mm. how would that work? But, oh, that'd be maybe. cool. That you could get someone's horoscope and then change it with mm. the name of the stars. That would be really cool, yeah. Mm. Also, and the effects yeah. wouldn't necessarily be exactly the way you change it. Like, it will be true right. that it's kind of mm. careful what you wish for kind of thing. Mm. Of course. And not, not necessarily bad, but the stars just sometimes interpret things different. And sometimes it works mm. exactly the way you want it, right? That, that, that might oh, be I love that. That's amazing that, that is so, kind of cool i like that idea and, and and again it's so hard to prove and that's exactly what i want for this character mm. yeah. because yes, cool. she has incredible power but it's so hard to prove that she does and that's i have two questions about that first does does that mean we are the only force that has uh, that can fight against the kitai okay <laughs> Uh, I mean, you might be because of that, yeah. Mm -hmm. And second, does the uh, name of the star include the sun? Um, I don't know. That's up to... <laughs> up to Kelsa. Mm -hmm. I feel like no. And it's because... Um... Like the, the sun it, is, it's, it's complicated. Is, is yeah, symbolically the, the, they're different. They're very different. Si symbolically they are different. Scientifically, things. yes. Yeah, scientifically they are the same, but symbolically they are different. And, and I mean, it, in it this has world, to do they with, can like, be scientifically different too, potentially. Right? But but also it has to do with like being enclosed within this and her power affecting things that are outside of the solar system, yeah. or affected by or mm. related to. Mm. Um, That's actually interesting. Like you can think of like. Uh, I, I can see how this makes a lot of sense, like the changing somebody's future kind of thing makes sense that if you call the name of the wind, you can make the wind move somewhere and do something, right? If you call the name of the stars, then you can move the stars around. And if some stars are different, then, you know, the, the horoscope is going to be different. So, you know, the stars might or might not physically move. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Right, right. But it explains, like, the changing of the future makes a lot of sense for, for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the houses in which they sit move, yes. but yeah. you don't see anything different. Uh, astronomers exactly. all over the world are, are asking how this could happen. <laughs> the stars have, have completely moved around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm just pi picturing this, this doing the, the Dumbledore thing, where she just like walks down the street, snaps her fingers, and then one by one the stars go out. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that would just mm. be like, wow. Mm. Yeah. Like we need a moonless night. I'm on mm. it. <laughs> yeah, I, I imagine that that'd be one of the perks of knowing the name of the stars. You could you could mm. make it a moon uh, like a, a starless night, mm. at least visually. Yeah, exactly. Oh, so good. I love it. Okay, <laughs> brilliant. So yeah, you come up with an idea of. I, I think we said that there had to be like three things that really showed the name of the stars or something like that. Um, oh no, we, we had an idea with like a, uh, affinity. We, we had to say how strong your affinity with the, with the stars would be and mm -hmm. then des decide on how much that is. I, I have to look up the old Discord conversation. Um, Luckily, there's now a search feature. <laughs> cool. A plus Discord. I mean, let's search for naming then. No, not the name of the wind. Naming. Naming of the wind. By William Shakespeare. <laughs> See what you did there. <laughs> uh, uh, jump. Your wordplay is always on point. I appreciate Thank you. that. I try. I try. Okay. Uh, I will. I will read that later, though. Um, let's move on with 
the next person. Who who wants to go next? What what happened in this year? Let's see. Uh, do I want to talk about we... Jojo? Okay. I... So, Jojo, what what happened to you and to the rest of the world in this year? Well, um, Jojo had quite a, had had a, a bit of money with him when he went to the university, like just mm-hmm. a little bit. Yeah, yeah you said. Um, it, it was like what one of his beliefs was that he had to protect the cash from from you guys by bringing that there. But I think this is now obsolete. Um, mm-hmm. He used that cash to get the property that I uh, own, that I, the Asoma uh, character sheet, which is um, a, a villa and a small business that he is now living in. Nice. And what, what which, kind of business do you have? Um, I, I learned tinkering from my uh, grandma and, and the, the stuff. And I more or less, uh, it, it's a family business now that she, she wanted to go with me to see that I really keep on my studies. So I, I thought, okay, might as well buy, buy a small business for her that she can work in and, and me too on occasion. Cool. Um, yeah, uh, I I think it would make sense if if he would be actually considering, or he, maybe he's also already earlier, just because he knows a little bit of sympathy and might uh, spend some of the training time this year for it too. And he, yeah, he's you just, just need to have sympathy learned rather than it being beginners like stuff. Yeah, I, I have I, I've I've learned already. Yeah. So um, the, the well, thing then is, you can can apply for earlier. Yeah, and and because he and him are uh, annoying the hell the hell out of each other, <laughs> they they both, both like okay, let let's get this over with quick, get a leer and go to the next uh, course because yeah, because yeah. then you get ex Ladal, right? Yeah, and, and the relationship between the two is, um, you know, he he's not poor enough that he really looks down too much on him. I guess that that's why uh, what uh, ke- keeps him from just getting uh, bullied around but otherwise it's like Quoth and him like this relationship like mm. he he is not just shutting up and do what what I want so I hate him that that kind but yeah not not that poor so can't really afford to do too much um I bet your tuition are just a little bit at the annoying side, though, probably. Uh, because he's he doesn't not, like you. He's not uh, the chance, chancellor yet, so it's no, going to be I, okay. No, but all the but... masters uh, talk about tuition together. Yeah, yeah, sure. I, I know. So. But, but but that's why it's not that annoying. Mm-hmm. Like, it's annoying, but not... It's annoying, but so... it's not crippling. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. So everything's... Gucci and uh, yeah, he's like he has a bit of trouble that uh, so that there are not that much women around. That's like a pain for him, and it's really he he's spending half his time in Imre anyway. So <laughs> he's not well, that, why is he that in hard Imre? for the ladies. Yeah, and for bars and stuff like that. No sweet life. He's not exactly poor, so can afford it. General <laughs> carousing. Yeah, and so yeah, that's. Um, I, I, he's not really exactly that that hardworking student. We might say he's more like, well, I, I guess I'm getting along with it, but he makes it up with being talented in most things he does. So. It's a lazy yeah. butt. Yeah, so he's just hanging around and yeah, having his lifestyle there. Cool, living the good life. Yeah. So do, does your your grandmother like just kind of sell like a, one of these little shops that sells like a completely random assortment of weird things? Uh, I Where guess... you can buy bread there, but you can also buy like. I don't know, old family and antique heirlooms that people mm. sold to her and like mm. random stuff. Yeah, the, the, the hottest black leather pants are made to I, I mean, 
a, a bit above that standard. Like it's 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 still a business you you would like to go when 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 you want something specific. Maybe you, mm -hmm. you, you could try, but it's not like the biggest business either. So it's just like she she, she knows uh, her craft. Yeah. And it's it's just a small business with uh, with exactly that. Uh, yeah, I'm just imagining one of then. those really cool stores where they they have like a, a just a ton of strange stuff, but they they have what you need, right? Most of the time, anyway. Hmm. Yeah, most of the time, that's that's more like yeah. Sometimes uh, when when nothing is there, then well. It's not like that, that shot that has had the, the biggest ambitions like expanding and stuff. It's more like, yeah. okay, that old lady has worked her whole life, so keep it up, make, show, um, making a good example for my grandson and make him work a bit here as well. <laughs> okay, so I have a question for you as well. Um, I want to know what happened in the criminal underworld. Ooh. So you know, but maybe what happened to the black spiders? Did they did they become bigger thing? Did they do anything crazy? You know, you just tell me like something interesting. Again, you can wait until you know some other people have been, or even later in the session. Uh, the black spiders. Who were they? Those exactly? They... The, the bandit gang that you hung out with. In the... Um. No. 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 Not the the, that same bandit gang. Um. Hmm. It was something. Um. I didn't remember how much you guys knew about it, but uh, at some point, Desi had a vision about them uh, attacking the uh, attacking the the uh, cart that Katerina was held hostage on. Right. Yeah, we were looking into that. Yeah, I, I, but I don't no. think you guys ever looked into that. I think that might be. Uh a fight between those and, and th this specific uh, Telu uh, guys that that did all this horrific stuff, you know, like they, they have something that they would like. So who, who has something what that who would the, like? The, the Telu church at that Thailand one specific, church. yeah, at this one place where Katrina was held, like those, those okay. people. They have something specific that they want, so there's kind of a um, struggle going on. Um, also, also uh, sleet is becoming a bigger thing in the underground around the university and taking some of the um, niches that other people had before, maybe even others. So that is a problem. And you can't really screw him, flip him off because He's kind of the big guy there right now. Uh, does anybody remember what the saint of the monastery was called? Laurentine. Laurentine, thank you. I can always count on you to know stuff. <laughs> yeah. You're um, good at knowing things. It's me, random fat guy. <laughs> Yay! It's just what we always needed. Yeah! Oh, yeah I, I have a perfect idea for the, the black... Uh, spiders in the monastery of Saint Laurentine that 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 works perfectly. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, um, who's next? Uh, I, su I suppose we haven't talked about Quentin a lot. We have not. We have not. So, so, as a quick aside, before we do, Boris definitely follows you around, Mathers, after your spectacle at the Silver Spoon Court. Oh, no. <laughs> like, oh, I, like, I've got to see what this guy is up to. Who is this crazy man? I will okay. write that down. Well, I mean, there, there, I guess there, there is an upside to that, but... Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, like, like he, he doesn't, like, follow you around, but he goes where you go, like, city-wise. So he, he he ends up in in Tinwe when you're there, and down in Severn, I think it's called the capital of Memphis, uh, and Renair and all of that. Okay. So he, he he's always around. 
Well, that's good to know. Mm. And, yeah, uh, for, for better or for worse. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe he'll even end up following along on the road back to the university. Yes. Yeah. Well, I, I think by then I, I, like I yeah, mm. may try to ditch him, but, but we'll see. Mm. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> he's, gonna, he's gonna show up at the end of some episode like five weeks from now. Yeah. Like, ah, <laughs> I found you! <laughs> Shut, man! What? <laughs> I totally didn't steal my, my necklace back. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you wouldn't dare. Dun, 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 dun. No, no, of course not. That would be wrong. Okay, so, so what happens to... Hmm. Yeah, what uh, happens to Lord Quentin? Yes. I was scared to say it because I wasn't entirely sure if, if Lord Quentin Marigold was the correct name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I probably had a few over the years. So, but... yeah, Lord, Lord Quentin, like, mm. what, what happens mm. to you in this year? Yeah, I think there's, there's like, a, a quick, like, quick, I think, it's, it's, it's a few months of him montaging his way through the, the investigation leading into mm. his with his parents' deaths, and occasionally, like, sending letters to Mathers, like, where are you? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yeah, so Ma- think, Mathers probably writing something back about finding a lead, mm. oh, investigating yes, yes. a new There's lead. Several. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. Mm. I mean, Jojo is, yeah. is involved as well, isn't he? Mm. Uh, true, yeah, true. yeah. Um, yes. So, uh, what I'm, what maybe what I'm thinking, if, I, if I'm getting this right from Mathers, is that like we, we keep, keep sending letters while you're in Aether, and then the letters just stop coming back because you're off on your your bender. Uh, well, do you, do you, do you I, I keep think, in touch. Yeah, I I I think mm. that uh, I I would. Uh, like update you on on where I'm going mm. and, and continue the mm. correspondence. Okay. Uh, and and probably uh, be uh, I'll, I'll probably continue to uh, uh, communicate some with uh, Jojo. Although the content of the two of the uh, two communications are are definitely at odds. Mm. Yeah. Yes, I think. Other than that, Quentin does spend. I think eventually, like the investigation runs dry on his end. Like he, he can't like, find out anything else. Like, yeah, I think and he, perhaps he, like uh, Mathers also says something along the lines of, "Oh yeah, like like Mathers was working up to a big reveal, and he was like, oh, the person who knew this actually died. Mm-hmm. So unfortunately, we're at the dead end. I can't tell you anything more, and then mm-hmm. uses uses that as a way to mm-hmm. get out of the whole investigation." But I will definitely look into the circumstances of this death, because I think yeah. it, it, it may be suspicious. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And I think there's also a g- growing disbelief in Quentin's heart about matters. <laughs> Possibly. Yeah. This just keeps getting worse, worse and worse and weirder. Like, where are you? Like, why are you like, over there? <laughs> why are you? <laughs> it's crucial, crucial. <laughs> why are you at this person's court? How do you get on what this island? What do they have to do with my father? Why are you in everything? Mm-hmm. Well, you... there is this, you know, hidden communication that uh, I, I'm just now learning about that would, uh, that uh, puts everything in a new light. I, I uh, uh, you know, it's too dangerous to, to uh, write it down here. But uh, soon, when I return, I shall inform you of all. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so I think after a while, it's like the investigation winds down. He starts spending more time at the university. Like he, he secludes, not secludes himself. The, the opposite of seclusion. He he comes out from his his shell in his his estate, and like starts going like actually going to school on a on a regular basis. And I think he eventually also gets. Becomes becomes a leader. I mean, he's been, he's been like officially attending the school for like a few years now, mm-hmm. but he's not here much. Mm-hmm. So like now he's like, offi- like actually putting time into it and like doing all the tests. But he he just needs to distract himself. 
because he's, I think he's come to terms that he's, that he's never going to like find out the truth, really, about what happened. And he's he's just going to move on and try to grow up a bit. Okay, so, okay. Um, so I have a question for you. What happened in Imre in the meantime? What's happened in Imre in like the last year? Yeah, you can you can think about it while mm -hmm. Brad does his thing. If you uh, if you mm -hmm. want some more time. Mm -hmm. Well, I think he's definitely paid attention to this this new crime lord on the street. It must have yeah, been so that Sleet, Sleet, yeah. Sleet did a bunch of stuff. Yeah, like that 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 okay. one guy that I think you ran into at a bar once. Not misremembering. But... Okay, so uh, yeah, you you come up with something that Sleet did in Imre, something mm -hmm. you know that mm -hmm. gave him a name, a reputation. Mm -hmm. You can think about yeah. it. There, there's no rush. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he stole something. He stole something valuable. It's like a big commotion. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, I know, I know where he, he, did a, he did a very flashy thing. And what he, did stole, he, do? he stole like one of those massive pianos from the alien. <laughs> like mm. no one knows how he did it because like those <laughs> That's things don't huge. those things don't like get out the door. Mm -mm. But somehow it's not there anymore. Very interesting. Yeah. And was it reassembled uh, piece by piece in in uh, no. one of the other masters' uh, <laughs> uh, rooms? Uh, inexplicably. Nope. Nobody knows. Okay. <laughs> it's it's just it's just gone now. But like he's taking credit for it. Okay. Yeah. He stole a massive piano from the Aeolian. Nobody knows how he did it or where the piano is now. Yeah. Um. So he is a suspect, but not convicted. I don't think he he has. I think it's, it's sort of like a thing in 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 the underworld and in the general awareness that there's this. Big crime guy who did it. But course, Everybody no, knows no. he did it, but no yeah. one can prove it, and he's not officially on any suspect list. Yeah. Like, officially, yeah. he's just a, a guy who runs the shop. But, no, I'm going yeah. to set, say everybody knows, with like yeah. quotes, that yeah. he did it because. As much as it's knowing, it's all just rumor. Like it's it's you know mm. it's everybody's favorite scapegoat kind of thing. So you rumor know. has it. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I don't know why I'm singing today. I'm sorry. Mm. Don't no. let me get what? away with it. Don't stop. Mm. Believe it. Bad. Hold on to that feeling. <laughs> <laughs> singing mm. is so much fun. Mm. It's not something you you like. I haven't, I, I haven't heard you sing, so I can't tell mm. if you're good, but. I mean, you don't do it to be good. You do it because it's awesome and, and just mm. awesome, right? So, so you're going to, with me to karaoke in Kofu? God, I'm, I, I, will, I, I will go, but I'm going to be super scared. <laughs> I'm very bad uh, at singing, so I sing very loudly and very poorly, and I just don't give a fuck. Well, that I mean, that's, that's I don't, I don't enough, uh, Yeah, I don't that's, that's like what the heroic is about. <laughs> and I don't have enough alcohol to sing for y'all right now, not really. I mean, yeah, you can see some behind me, but I'm not drinking it, so it's all good. It, it would be early. It is a little early to be <laughs> drinking. It's, but, it's five, five o'clock somewhere. Yes. <laughs> not on this continent. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay. Um. So then, Miles. Yeah. You tell me. So, uh, so uh, the the first part of what he's up to is, is uh very much uh like uh using uh, Lord uh, Silverspoon as a springboard to talk to other nobles as, as, uh, as part of and uh, uh, like helping to investigate the Laurentinian heresy uh, and, and <laughs> making sure yes. uh, and you know trying to shape that narrative make sure that it, that it uh, goes in the proper directions <laughs> um, but again as uh, uh, as he does that, like 
day by day he he become he just starts to uh uh become more uh like uh wasted in spare um and uh just i guess, i guess just that like uh uh more uh, uh Uh, I mean, I guess he wasn't, like, jovial before, but, uh, th there, there's, like, a, uh... Somber? Yeah. That's somber Um... That and the, the... The, I, I think that there, there's... Uh... It's it's almost like he's playing Inquisitor. There there there's like a, a an, an iron to him. There, there's a uh, uh, almost a meanness um, that that you know might not have been there before. Um, and I, I uh, like I I I don't know exactly how uh, the investigation goes, but. Uh, uh, he goes out of his way to like look for scapegoats and, and let this thing uh, you know, take on a life of its own. Then I'm curious who your scapegoat is going to be. Um. Hmm. Uh. Well. Okay. So. As he gets to know a bit of the the Aetorian court, uh, he he's like totally gonna pick someone who who's like advantageous, who who like uh, uh, you know if uh, Lord uh, uh, Silverspoon and uh, uh, Lord Harlan, uh, who are sort of like natural allies. Have uh, uh, have someone who's been a thorn in their side, say, uh, uh, Lord uh, uh, Blackwell. Lord Blackwell. Let me write down Lord Blackwell. Then, uh, obviously, uh, Lord Blackwell is the uh, the uh, designated uh, like uh, heretic who's spreading the, this uh, this disease within the church uh, locally. Um, but. Uh, Uh, let me see. But I, I, I think once things like heat up to the point where uh, they are, uh, uh, you know, events are moving on their own, and uh, uh, you know, feathers foresees them getting dangerous, then it's time to move on. <laughs> uh. So and then in uh, Ventus, he he's um, uh, much more about uh, business rather than uh, uh, like politicking. There, uh, it, it's uh, you know all about uh, you know he he you know tries to get some letters of introduction from from uh, people in HR before leaving, uh, and then uh, there he he's. Uh, all about uh, setting up uh, contacts uh, and, and uh, dickering over the, the, the price of uh, these uh, wondrous uh, alchemical uh, uh, reagents that, that uh, 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 will change the, the, you know, change the face of history. How true is any of that? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, 
well. <laughs> Define true. Yeah. Uh, actually, as far as um, uh, as far as Mathers is concerned, it, it is the the absolute truth. He that it, uh, um, you know, it, it may clearly he is an expert. Well, uh, you know, he has uh, some knowledge of the field, and, and um, you know, in, in an area where uh, you know almost nobody else does, uh, he can play that up. Uh, but uh, it, it, it's that that is actually, uh, you know, when he talks about uh, how um, you know. This uh, this material mixed with that, if we can, th there's uh, uh, there's uh, some uh, other elements that need to be developed, but uh, it it could could bring in uh, a, a revolution of military affairs, if uh, as well as. Uh, 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 other benefits, so long as uh, uh, you, my lord, are are the one who is, um, uh, uh, you know, wielding this this new wave of uh, uh, progress. Nothing can stop you. Um, and he, he's so. Uh, so is it entirely military, or is just like? Uh, no, no. Um, he he uh, is. You know, if, if there's interest there, he'll he'll follow it. Uh, but uh, he he's also paying. You know, he also pays very close attention to what it is to to what it is that the the you know specific lords are wanting, uh, and you know matches his pitch uh, towards that. Um, and there there's some element of, of uh, you know. Revolution, it you know, revolutionizing um, things, but that that part is actually sort of uh, uh, sort of his own feelings. Like he, the, you know, even if the the lords aren't that interested in, uh, in changing the status quo, uh, he he sometimes has to uh, uh, you know bite his tongue about that part, but. Uh, um, he, he actually does feel strongly about that. That is, uh, 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 you know, that is why he's doing all this, really. Um, and I, I think it's uh, during this time that uh, he, uh, you know, finally, uh, uh, you know, it. Uh, Becomes clear with uh, 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 Davy uh, that desire and you know what it, you know what his uh, uh, business is about and, and why he's doing it. Um, hmm. And yeah, I don't know if if uh, that's like something to monologue or jump into a scene or. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, that's up or, to you. you that is that is entirely up to you how you want it. You can just tell me, okay, okay. Davy dumps him, or okay. well, she's I, I mean, fine with it, okay. uh, or let's okay. do a scene about <laughs> how she feels about it. Like that, that's entirely up to you, right? Like this is uh, this is the point where you guys have you know all the narrative freedom in the world. I mean, if you start bringing in, like, guns and aliens, I'll raise an eyebrow, probably, but... <laughs> Damn. What, what is isn't, that what the, uh, isn't that what the Shandarain are? Guns and aliens? Hmm. I mean, you know, you probably could aliens. bring in guns and aliens if you, you know, tied a very strong story to it. <laughs> I, I'm just... Hmm. Yeah, it's also, also my favorite Guns N' Roses cover band. <laughs> <laughs> I am just spouting bullshit. Don't listen to me. Well, I, I could, in fact, uh, see developing uh, like match locks down the line, um, but uh, but probably no aliens. You're not you're not developing aliens. So no. uh, my question for you, uh, 
matters is um, what measurable aspect of your revolution is there? I, I want you to come up with a measure, like a, a clear change, something that clearly changed because of you. Um. Yeah, uh, I think that uh, just the the you know the the rumor of this uh, you know revolution in military af affairs is ca causes a number of the a uh, 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 number of the houses to start. Uh, um, investing more and training more troops um not necessarily of Mather's stuff but uh just like of, of uh the the uh, you know the whole country gets a little bit more militant and uh there, there's like the beginning of this arms race so it's this in Ventus where you in where US, you are? yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you know, with uh, no, you know, no open warfare, but the, the like tensions are building. Okay, cool. Um, so I guess we had every everybody then, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, and I guess I should answer the question of. Uh, uh, oh yeah, uh, of of Davy. Um, yeah. I think that, uh, like, finally, uh, you know, bringing this stuff out, uh, it, it, it's not like, uh, you know, it, it's not like uh, total dumpage, but it, it, it creates a certain, uh, again, there's a certain tension. Um, and uh, she may arrive back in, uh, uh, at the university a little bit before he does like they don't they don't travel back together um uh, but you know things are a little bit up in the air or and things are a little bit up in the air okay um i will write that down uh... So can we take like a short break? I was thinking it's probably break time. Yes. Alrighty. Think the same. Okie dokie.